my name is Gülay Özkan. Uh, I'm based in Istanbul. Uh, today I'm with Alexander from Almaz Capital. Uh, we'll be talking about uh, how to recognize uh, opportunities from emerging world uh, in a global opportunities, right? So welcome. And uh, you had a great talk uh, yesterday. I heard so many people were really impressed because uh, we are right now in an emerging country and uh, we are really curious about the how to recognize the global opportunities. And uh, do you think location matters? Oh, actually, for global opportunities, location doesn't matter since world became very flat and money, ideas, they became, we have only political borders which is crossing, making people to ability to, to like stop ability to move, but in general, ideas can move through borders, yes, yeah? so, and more important that teams can work together, even they are located in different geographical areas or different countries. Uh, but the I mean, uh, you made a comment about uh, separating the operations and the, like also very, very old profit centers, right? Yeah. So, do you think the profit center should be in a developing country? Uh, it depends, yes. Yeah? So, you need to divide businesses for two parts, yes. Yeah? So, regional business which you can organize to serve regional needs, yeah. It can be anything. It is not just high tech. It is any type of business you can organize locally. And and if you're ambition enough to be a local person, it is fine. So you, especially if you're speaking about internet world, consumer uh, services is local usually, since they need to adopt it for local culture, for local needs, for local brands, for anything. Since in different countries we build different feeling about consumers, what consumers actually think about the, what they what would like to get. When you're speaking about B2B business, or you're speaking about technological business, uh, this business needs to be global from day one. What I mean about profit center is that when you develop your product, it is not enough. Product, you need to turn to the business. And when you need to turn product to the business, you need to choose where your first opportunity will be pretty fast and, and recognizable. Since you would like to get brand, you would like to get recognition, so you need to go to the biggest market immediately whether your product will be the best suitable. The so second you need to understand that crossing lake, it is one team. When you use a sailboat to cross some lake. When you go into Mediterranean, it is a slightly different team and different, uh, let's say, boat. When you go into ocean, it will be completely different team and different boat. So, all this together you need to keep in your mind when you build your company, when you build in your vision and future. So you need to be open for yourself to decide when you will have the right team to go ahead. So, so in terms of entrepreneurial ecosystem, uh, how would you compare, for example, the Silicon Valley meet and uh, the other markets, I mean, including Russia and the emerging world? You know, it is impossible to compare Silicon Valley with any other place. And nobody will repeat and rebuild Silicon Valley. Since uh, not the reason that it is impossible, the point is uh, time changed too much. So in the past time, when Microsoft made any acquisition, they immediately moved all engineers to Seattle. Right now, they're not doing this, since it is no needs to move anymore people from their domestic country somewhere else. So, world change. The second one, of course, entrepreneurship atmosphere in, um, in Silicon Valley is slightly and completely different from, from any country. But I will say that imagine countries like Turkey has bigger opportunities from point of view to create this uh, DNA of entrepreneurship in Western Europe. From my experience living in Western Europe, since there are people less hungry, and entrepreneurship can be built in the places where the people are hungry to realize not only from point of view of goods and food, but hungry to realize their success. The last question is uh, about uh, Russia. How is the entrepreneurial ecosystem in Russia if you compare with the other markets? Uh, first of all, you need to be very consistent from point of view of government, which spent actually our taxes, they need to be very consistent as they build a knowledge base for many, many years ahead, first. And in Russia, I hope the government understood this. So, 
today when I compare, when I back actively to do something in Russia, not only with my engineering team, but as an investor, I started to look that in 2004, it was approximately, I don't know, hundreds of companies and I need, had ability to count and remember everybody. So now I'm getting each day possibly 10 business plans. So 70 or 60 per week, which is given pretty big number. So it is telling that it is big entrepreneurial community started to build in country. And more important that people learn from mistakes, they're getting back with their new companies, with their new ideas. I will say it is rising very fast. Okay, thank you very much. You're welcome.